On Monday, the Supreme Court decided against hearing a case that argued women should be required to register for the military draft. The court said Congress should make the final decision. So I decided to dig a little deeper and find out what happens next. I learned some lawmakers are already discussing legislation that would clear the way for gender neutrality in selective service. If that legislation passes the House in what's sure to be a battle between Democrats and Republicans in the Senate, CU Boulder law professor Richard Collins told me what could come next. One possibility is that Congress would just simply eliminate uh, registering for the draft at all. Uh, uh, the draft can be revived without registration. It just would take more time. Collins says also a new law could finally solve the question of sexual orientation or gender identity and who can serve in the armed forces. If Congress were to uh, insist on drafting women, then you would get uh, some, uh, I think, immediate questions about um, uh, gay folks and, and transgendered folks. Um, and uh, because those are on the um, on, on the radar screen. You may remember President Trump essentially banned most transgender Americans from joining the military, and President Biden recently overturned that ban. Collins said it also is important to look at past Supreme Court cases that address gender and the military draft. In 1981, the Supreme Court heard a case regarding women in armed combat. At the time, the Supreme Court decided women could not register for the draft because they could not engage in armed combat. A lot has happened since then. In 2013, the Department of Defense lifted that ban on women in combat, and some activists felt this cleared the way for women to be required to register for the draft.